This will be the first in a series of tips that I will share for the Onefinity machine, for the Elite specifically. Now, this one is one that caught me by surprise. Somebody left a comment on one of my videos asking about how to use the pendant to control the feed override and the RPM override. And I thought, that, ain't, that can't be done. Well, I was wrong. It can be done. And here's how. Uh, first thing you do is you go to this, you know, the F2 screen, just like we are here. And I thought, okay, I want to try this out. So I took the pendant and I did everything I could think to do to it. You know, I turned the dial, I switched the knobs around, I did everything I could do. I started messing with this stuff and then turning things and still I couldn't figure out how to do it. It just doesn't, doesn't work. So I was kind of in disbelief to begin with. But then I found the secret. The secret is you need a keyboard. So with the keyboard, while you're on the F2 screen, and maybe you don't even have to be on the F2 screen, I'm not sure, um, you can press F11 or F12, F11 to do feed and F12 to do RPM. So I think here I've hit F11. So now that I've done that on the keyboard, I can jog and change the feed. And if I wanna go back to, let's say I wanna mess with 12, the, uh, the RPM, I just turn the dial there after hitting 12 and bingo bango, that's working. Now, if I'm happy with this or whatever adjustments I've made, I need to go back to jogging the machine around. As soon as I change this to an axis, it's it switched over into jog mode. It's not going to adjust the, uh, the the overrides anymore. Well, that's it. I hope you guys learned something. I sure did. Uh, I'll catch you next time on the next tip.